All right, once everything is pinned nice and flat, nice and secure, you're ready to cut. Three key things. Number one, follow the right lines. Number two, cut through all three layers. And number three, what happens when you get to these little triangles? So first, you're gonna start, I'm gonna do the medium ones. And if I look at my pattern, the medium is this dark solid line. You can tell the difference between the three, dark solid, big dash, small dash. So I'm gonna follow and cut through all three layers, making sure that everything is nice and flat and staying together as I cut all the way around. If I pinned it correctly, I should be getting nice and close to the pins without ever, ever having to cut through them. As you go, pieces of pattern are gonna come off. Just make sure you put those in the garbage after you're done cutting. So once I get to this part, I'm gonna follow my solid line and not get confused. There's one part up here where it gets a little bit confusing near the crotch. So I'm gonna take nice long scissor strokes and I'm gonna move this for the purposes of the video. Again, you can have a partner help you if you wanna keep it nice and close. Let's cut along. Now I'm about to get to a triangle here. When I get to the triangle, I'm gonna go right to the edge of the triangle. And if you can see, I'll try and bring this a little bit closer. But instead of cutting in along the lines of the triangle, I'm gonna cut opposite to that out away from the triangle. So I'm gonna follow the opposite edge of the pattern and cut out from my fabric and not in along the lines. This is just so I can match up my pieces when I'm sewing. So I do not wanna follow the lines and cut on the triangle. I wanna cut out away from the triangle. And I'll show you again when we get up here. So this part, is the part where all three of the patterns overlap. I'm gonna keep following my solid line here. So I'm not gonna go out here, I'm gonna keep following my solid line in here. Get rid of that little piece. And I'm about to reach another triangle here. I'm gonna go right up to it, and then cut out away from the triangle, and then back in towards the triangle. It doesn't have to be perfect, it's just so I can match it up later on. And I'm gonna continue on with my cutting, right? So I'm going to cut out both pattern pieces, making sure to cut through all three layers and to cut out the triangles, not in the triangles, making sure everything is nice and flattened together.